Hello everybody and welcome to what I believe will be a relatively short little myth-busting kind of video. Uh, and today I'm actually going to cover the difference between the regular machines and the advanced machines. This time around I'll be covering the regular macerator and the rotary macerator. Now, conventional wisdom seems to have it that a rotary macerator, the advanced machine, properly upgraded is faster than a regular macerator properly upgraded. And I contest that this is not true. A rotary macerator maxes out. Uh, it's maxing out at 17,500 RPM, and that's with 20 overclockers and 30 energy storage upgrades. Once I add the 21st overclocker, breaks the motor, rotary macerator. Completely breaks it. I have to pop the block and put it back. But my macerator runs with 19 overclockers and 10 energy storage upgrades. Actually, I need significantly less than that. I just kind of threw that in there. So, let us compare. Okay, so I have my stopwatch here. And I am going to do one stack of copper in the rotary macerator and time it. And then I'll do one stack of copper in the regular macerator and time it. And we'll see which one is faster. So in three, two, one, click. And I don't know how to put a stopwatch up on the video, at least not yet. I might be able to by the time I edit the video, but I doubt it. So uh, I'm not going to edit this. So if you want to time it yourself, you can. Click. 22.7 seconds. Okay, so that's the rotary macerator. So let's look at the regular macerator. Let me reset that. So regular macerator in three, two, one, click. Yeah, 3.5 seconds. I don't think I needed to time that one. But yeah, 3.5 seconds for the regular macerator compared to 22.7 for the rotary macerator. Now I know what you might be thinking, but the rotary macerator can do it two at once. Well, um... Considering that thing was 3.5 seconds, that still wouldn't make it faster. But you would also be wrong. The rotary macerator does not do two at once. What it's designed to do is this. See how we're getting bronze dust instead of, you know, copper? These two are meant to combine. So you put, like, coal here and iron here and get refined iron dust and so on and so forth. But that's it. It's not designed to run two at once though it would make it slightly better. The same could be said for the induction furnace. I see this a lot. They think the induction furnace is faster than the regular furnace. Well, the regular electric furnace, anyways. So, let's find out. Now, the induction furnace can do two at once. So, I'm going to do both. And then I'm going to make the electric furnace do... Uh, two stacks. Now the induction furnace can't be upgraded. This is as fast as it's going to go. This is as fast as it went before. This is as fast as it's ever going to go. Now, I still don't want to edit this out in case anybody has any kind of questions about it. They can time it themselves on the video. So I'm not going to be shortening this in any way. I'm not going to be speeding it up. This is real-time gameplay. Click. And of course I didn't time that, but that's mostly because I can do this. Yeah. I think that's a little faster. And no, the... Uh, Induction furnace will not survive on HP power. That will not make it faster. That will make it explodey.
Now, I have not played with the Oops. Singularity Compressor or the, uh, oh, I forget what it's called, uh, Centrifuge Extractor, right? Yeah, Centrifuge Extractor. But I can imagine it would be pretty much the same that after proper upgrading, it just won't go any faster. And I had pulled all my upgrades out of the machines so I could try upgrading the rotary macerator as far as physically possible and give it its best chance possible. Uh, the macerator, this macerator, is limited right now by my power output. Now, don't make any mistakes. I am outputting a serious amount of power. 35 MFSUs outputting all at once. So that's a buttload of power. So don't get me so don't think that uh, you'll be able to do this right off the bat, but once you get to a point there is absolutely no point for the advanced machines. The first level machines are just significantly faster. So, until the next episode, I say keep playing the game and have fun.